All right, we're on a 32 Donzi ZF, uh, followed by twin Mercury Optimax 250XS, two strokes. Uh, I got C Star hydraulic steering there. We've got a, a cutting station here. The vessel has a transom door a compartment here that leads into the bilge. And uh, looks like there was a, uh, a water tank in there. Got undergunnel cleats, got combing pads. Uh, under here is our battery access. There's four batteries in there. And then we have uh, fish boxes on each side. And of course, you've got your uh, net and gab holders on each side as well. And here's our helm. Uh, this is a T top. It's got a nice canvas top on it. And the boat does need a little, little detail cleaning. Uh, and perhaps a little bit of upholstery work. There's a couple of, couple of cracks, but uh, overall, it's a solid package. So you've got the double uh, bolstered seats. You got fold down here, and then here's our helm. Uh, nice aluminum steering wheel there. Got hour meters. This is 289, and then you've got your your engine uh, lights there. And you've got a uh, spotlight control here. This boat has an anklet, a, wind, a windless anchor. There's the controls for that. Uh, there's the breaker for the anchor windless. And then we have the uh, Mercury Smart View uh, vessel uh, management system, which gives you all the details and readouts from the electronic control module on the engines. Tell you everything and anything you need to know. All right, and then we've got a fuel gauge, we've got gallons per hour. And we got our, our trim tabs up and down. The boat does have the K-plane trim tabs. And there's your throttles. Got our Sony stereo remote here. Uh, and then we've got all of our switches and three or four extra accessory switches there. We've got uh, bait weld pumps, spreader lights. Uh, you've got a engine room, machinery room light, which is where the batteries are. There's bilge pump horn. There's another fish box. Uh, there's a, a headlight or forward facing spreader light. Uh, and then you've got an electronic box up ahead, up top I mean, uh, which has a Stand Horizon Eclipse DSC in it. Um, and then uh, you also have two head units here. You've got a HDS7 Lawrence and you've got a Raymarine E120. So very nice electronics on this boat. Okay, under here, under the helm is your uh, your battery switches, and you've got some more breakers there as well. Okay, so this is the center console over here. And it does have a porta potty in there with a pump out. And there's a battery switch for the windlass, I presume. Uh, a lot of room in there. You could stand up. I believe you could stand now. No, you can't stand up. It's about five feet, but you could sit down if you needed to, that's for sure. Uh, if you clean that out, it, a lot of room in there. Okay, and there is a light in there. The stereo is in there. And we have the waste pump out on this side, and the water fill is on the other side. All right, so looking forward, we've got a nice open bow. Still combing pads all the way around. You got fish boxes on each side here. These are pretty clean. Recently used. All right. And then uh, in the middle, we've got a huge uh, fish box. So lots of room for big fish on this boat. And I'm looking forward, we got uh, handrails all the way around, really nice. There's your anchor locker, and there's your windlass with the roller up front. All right, and then uh, under this seat, uh, we have a cooler, fish box, whatever you want to use it for. And then uh, there's another uh, fish box or dry storage uh, in the floor there. Looking up top, you can see we've got the radar, we got Ray Marine, we've got a remote control spotlight. There's your 
water fill right there. You got tackle storage for both of those. Uh, so you've got plenty of rod holders, you got rocket launchers, you've got a tea bag up here to keep your life jackets in. Outriggers, not sure if those come with the boat or not. Uh, and there is an ice chest that may come with the boat that goes on those cleats there. But uh, we'll go take a look at the outside next. All right, just wanted to show you that's what it looks like. Uh, with, there's a cover that goes over the uh, the GPS and the chart plotter. All right, take a look at the outside next. All right, there she is. Uh, nice uh, hull graphics. We'll look at the got the K-plane trim tabs back here. Looks like we got new lower units. But I'll find out about that. Got the Bravo One four blade props. Very nice. There's your K-plane trim tabs under there. Transducer. You got a galvanized and aluminum trailer, which has uh, pretty good looking bunks on it. Uh, the bolts are rusted, but those are easily re replaced. And then it is a triple axle trailer. Got aluminum alloy wheels there. Tires look to be in decent shape. Uh, there are brakes, drum brakes on the vessel, on the, uh, the trailer, but they don't work. And then we've got two spare tires up here also. Alright, so there she is. Beautiful Donzi 32ZX. All officers welcome.